Hi guys, I'm Phil O'Neill from Australia and I hope you're having a fantastic day. In this video, we're continuing with the series on how to practice. So we're continuing our series on how to practice. If you haven't already checked out the rest of this series, go back to the start and check it out. I'll take you guys through warm up, to pedal tones, um, and we've done airflow. They're the three videos I've done in the series so far, so check them out, I'll leave a link in the description. Today we're gonna continue the series with long tones. Before you click off though, really suggest you watch this one because this one's probably gonna be the one that changes your playing the most. If you've done my previous steps in the How to Practice series, you would have done your warm up, and then your warm up would have gone over all of your register, from the absolute bottom to the absolute top. If you're, if you then continued following it, you've done the flow studies, which once again, have started in the middle of the register and gone all the way to the bottom and all the way to the top. So by the time we get here, we're probably feeling a bit fatigued, right? So instead of going, right, time for a break, what we're gonna do is we're gonna push through a little bit to try and help increase our endurance. The old fashioned phrase of time is money really applies here. Now, if you're anything like me, time is really, really short. We don't have a lot of time to be getting things done that we need to get done for us to be fantastic trumpet players. So, what we have to do is condense everything into a short a time span as, as necessary and still achieve results. So, instead of trying to practice for five hours a day so that I've got good endurance, I try to push myself in smaller sections and then take a longer break so I can get on with other aspects of life. So, if you've done, been following the series so far and you've done the warm up and if you've done my stamp routine, you've done that from bottom of your register all the way to the top of your register. Then you've done the flow studies, whether it be Clark or Vizzuti or Chinkowitz or whatever you've recommended to do um, yeah. And then you've done the flow studies, whether it be the Clark or the Vizzuti or whatever flow study you've chosen to do, you've done that over the whole range of the instrument that you have. We're going to be feeling fatigued here. So instead of taking a break because we've been playing for 25 minutes, instead of taking the break here, move on to the long tones and play them softly. By playing them softly with a good sound here, we're not just working on having a good embouchure and good airflow, but we're also working the endurance part aspect of our playing. So, what I like to do, I like to go to the Sloshberg book. If you don't yet own a Sloshberg, go and buy it. I'll leave a link in the description. Fantastic book. You'll, you will be using this every day. Right? It's one of my top five. I probably say top five books a lot, so I should probably do a video on that as well. Anyway, so... Exercise one on the daily drills of Sloshberg. I like to start in the middle line and then do the bottom line and then the high line. Nice and simple, nice and gentle, nice and soft. I take the Caruso approach where I do the who articulation for my first one. So who, two, two. And then I take a bars rest and then I do the next one. And I'll do that for the whole line. It doesn't matter which long tone exercise you do, but it is important that you do it in this part of your practice. So by doing the long tones here softly, instead of taking our break when we're feeling a bit fatigued, we're pushing through the fatigue a little bit, but we're not gonna blow out our embouchure because we're playing softly. 
very, very softly, as soft as you can, right? With a good sound, right? So we're working on our endurance, we're working on our quality of sound, we're working on our airflow because everything we do on the trumpet revolves around airflow. Um, and we're also working on pitch, right? I like to use a tuner. I've got the Tonal Energy app. I'll show you that in another video. It's a fantastic app on the phone, available on Apple or Android. Go and grab it, it's only five or six bucks or something. So if you do your long tones here, making sure you're soft, you've got a good sound, your intonation is good, you'll actually be increasing your endurance, but you'll also be shortening your practice time because we don't have time to practice for five, six, seven, eight hours a day. Guys, if you learn nothing else from me, I hope that this is the thing to take away, right? By putting the soft playing when you're already fatigued, it will definitely increase your endurance without fail. So give it a go at home. Chuck comments below. Let me know how you go. Let me know how long it takes for you to feel the results, right? Whether it takes a couple of days, whether it takes a couple of weeks, whether it takes a couple of months. Give it a go. Let me know how you find the results. Guys, if you're liking these videos, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. If there's a video in particular that you really like, give it a thumbs up. If you're not a fan of the things that I'm saying or the advice I'm giving, let me know, right? I'd like to be able to tailor these videos to help you guys out, right? Also, I wanna give a little bit of a plug to the Facebook page, The Trumpet Hang. It's a great bunch of guys there. If you really want some fantastic advice on how to play trumpet, go and check out The Trumpet Hang. It's full of some fantastic players there. Guys, thanks for tuning in. As always, I'm Phil O'Neill from Australia, and happy practicing.